This approach is called classifier-free guidance. Using our new green vectors to guide a set of cat points, we see a nice tight fit to our spiral for this class. Switching to our dog class, our unconditional gray vector field stays the same, but our dog conditioned model outputs shown in magenta now point us more towards the dog part of our spiral. And adding guidance amplifies this learned direction. Using our guided vectors and running our generation process, we see a nice fit for our dog points. Finally, we get a third vector field for our people examples that again results in nice convergence to our spiral. Classifier-free guidance works remarkably well and has become an essential part of many modern image and video generation models. Earlier, we saw that if we only conditioned our stable diffusion model, our image would have a desert and a shadow, but no tree that we asked for in the prompt. If we add classifier-free guidance to this model, once we reach a guidance scale alpha of around two, we start to actually see a tiny tree in our images. And the size and detail of our tree improve as we increase our scaling factor alpha. As we use guidance to point our stable diffusion model's vector field more in the direction of our prompt, our tree literally grows in size and detail in our images.